Evening, how are we doing? Thursday night, uh, been off work today, been away shopping for the day. Six hours round trip in the car, so just fancy having a freshen up. So, hardware for tonight, a bit of a marmite razor. Uh, you either love them or you love them. Merca Future. This is the chrome version. Uh, you can buy a Chinese clone of this as Merca allowed the patent to expire. So it's been copied I think, by the Kyushu or the Mingxi for around about a fifth of the price what these retail for. 20, well, these, these retail for about 50, 60 quid. I think you can get the clones for a tenner. Never tried the clone. Uh, most people have them so they're good razors. It's a two-piece razor, adjustable, the top cap slowly pulls off. The blades hooks over the, the tabs on the guard and it's an adjustable head. You can see there when it moves and you just turn the handle, the centre section, similar to the progress, moves up and down and this goes from setting one to setting six. So that's the razor. It weighs in 120 grams. I think the Chinese clones are a little bit lighter. About four and a quarter ounces if you're in old school. And the blade for tonight, I haven't marked it up yet, but it's still got silver blue. It's on its fourth use. So we'll see how this one gets on. So to insert the blade, let you just drop it over the tabs, as so. Take the razor, take the head. pushing together. If you need to get it off, there's a little recessed cap at the end there so you can get it off. And I'm going to use this on setting 2. The chrome can be a little bit slippy if you get soap on your hands or soap on the There's a simple way to combat that. Just take an allen block, rub it on your fingers and then it won't slip, it just stays put. Useful little tip if you have trouble with any of the anything shiny with no uh, knurling or grip as this is. Uh, that's the second razor I bought. I bought that shortly after I bought the, the Mercury 30 I used a few few shaves ago. Uh, brush for the night, Simfex, synthetic, you've seen me use this before with an AP shave company not. So let's get some water in that. And the soap for tonight is my second one from OK Soaps Driftwood, which is dark, smoky. Uh, it's quite a. It's not a hard soap, but it's it's not it's not a crop. It's a little bit harder than that. Uh, the bob brush that I had the. Well, that was okay, it wasn't brilliant. I'm hoping it's going to be better tonight with the synthetic. But the, the post shave, I didn't use anything on the last shave for the post shave. Just the soap as Ed, the soap maker, recommends. And uh, so I says you can do that, so I thought I'll give it a try. We'll see what it's like. It was actually, it was alright. So. Uh, That's it, let's put some heat in the brush and we'll just drop the blade in the bowl. Get some heat in that. So, a bit of water. There's the puck. Let's get the lather up. So, yeah, six hours in the car. Bit of a long day. So, as I come home, pour a whiskey. Bit early for that, for that just yet, and then just chill back and relax. I thought, you know what, the golf's on tomorrow, the Ryder Cup, first day. So I don't really intend moving very far tomorrow, irrespective of what's happening in the world, uh, from in front of the TV. So I thought, if I have a shave tonight, that'll be the shave out the way, and we'll get the next one done for the weekend. You may well notice the lights are on. I'm hoping the fan 
which is running isn't quite as noisy as it was last time uh, as I said last time I haven't got any option with the fan because it's hardwired to the lights so we've got a decent load in the, in the brush I'm just going to pick up what's on the puck If you're in a rush you could shave with that. Still in a, in a tin tin. Uh, about 3 inch diameter so not too bad to uh, lather from. 80 grams in the puck would be actually a good, good travel size. So this is the second oat cake shop, the other one was the lavender, he in the last year. So we haven't got too far back to go find that one. If you want to go watch it. I saw a review for this which described it as you think of the scent as walking through a pine or a birch forest after a fire, shortly after a fire. It actually smells quite up like that in the tin. Crack and lather for very little work at the moment. Yep, yeah, that's it, I'm not going to feed anymore. There's enough there. So, I am just going to dip the iron block and just rub that over the fingers on both hands with having the soap on there. Second, the soap's quite pleasant actually, it's quite strong. It's a good, uh, good scent strength on this one, it's stronger than some of the the soaps I've got. Mm. But yeah, nice. So, make a future on setting two. See the numbers up there, they aren't easy to see on the, on the workers. And we'll give it a go 120 grams, so you don't need to use much pressure. Actually, any pressure, the weight of the razor is enough. Even on the fourth use, this blade is just. Well, I've only got the number two because I've still got some cold saws over here. I don't want to rip them apart with a razor blade. So. Keep this one mild tonight. The only other thing with this razor. You rinse it under really hot water with it being solid brass and chrome, it does get hot. We hear that, hopefully. The future talks to you, it really does. I find the shave quite similar to the progress. The heads are quite, the progress isn't as bulky as this in the head design. But the manner in which it shaves and the amount of response it gives you from the blade is very, very good.
which Hansen did a video in the future a few weeks ago basically saying shave like that almost 90 degrees and just drop it down it's a very safe razor if you do it that way it was quite a good video if you hadn't used the future before uh, shaving, with rich, shaving with rich is the channel it's worth watch if you've got a future and you have it, or a Ming Shi it causes you issues it's not a weeper I'll just take the top of a cold saw Tell you the full fuse not bled, there is not a lot left there on set number two. It's a lot better shave than the one, one I had the other night from the, uh, the Mamba. I felt quite stubbly quite quickly. This one just fails first pass and it's just knocked everything off. The future is it's Marmite razor. Some people like them, some people love them, and said really don't like them. They like that's why it's called Marmite. You either like it or you loathe it. I despise the stuff. Personally. I'm not going too volumously. To, yeah, making the lather too big. I'm just keeping this one nice and simple. We're still on setting two. I'm really liking the scent on this soap, I must admit. Personally, I think it's cracking. The only thing I would say with this, when you go under your nose, see they've got the dome end and the handle end with a little thumb grip on it. If you push that up next to your nose, you get the bed quite far up. It's not the easiest to shove under your nose with it being such a large head. Said the actress to the vicar. Got the camera set up a, bit, a little bit differently tonight as well, quite a bit higher than what I normally take it. So hopefully, I wasn't sure it would work or not. Cracking, absolutely cracking. I could just stop right there quite easily. However, another across the green pass. Add a little bit of water to the tips.
Again, I'm going to leave it on 72, not moving it at all. It's going to go straight back across the grain in the direction. I'll crack and shave. Okay, it was just cold water. What I'm going to do is put out any remaining soap in the brush, which isn't a loss, and apply it to the face. Yeah, I could do some pickups in all places down here, but don't want to. I'm quite happy. It's my face, my shave. It doesn't have to be baby, baby but smooth. I could chase it and cause irritation. What's the point? Saying that, however, this one turns down to number one. You can hear the razor still taking the hair off. The progress is very similar in the manner it shaves left for me, I think. Been knocked down. Not there. It's a little blue, little spot. Not there. Was a cold saw.
I shave it in all directions, at least I know it's been knocked off. The head's been knocked off in every direction possible. Right, we're done. So, cold water and have them. Let's face that really. Um, this is the world's nattiest, most knackered album block. Oh, yeah, still works. Don't need to replace it just yet. Well, outside of the areas where the where the blood is, there's no issue. It's no problem. There's a little bit, of, a little bit of stinging down here. I did that, knock the heads off on like the fourth, the fourth pass. I wasn't going to do when I went chasing. That I didn't mean to do. But hey, I'm done. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of moisturizer on tonight. Before we do that, quick run through the hardware for the day. Razor, make a future, chrome, and setting two and setting one. Do you got silver blue and it's fourth shave? Some fix handle, brush, AP Shave Company knot, 24mm, which worked that soap, I think, personally better than the, the ball brush did. I think I'll have to introduce that uh, Smog brush to a uh, shaving ball in the near future so you can have a chat with it. And the soap, hot cake soaps from London. Driftwood. Ingredients are on the side of the label should you wish to read them. Good soap, nicely moisturising. And we just finished off there with a little bit of alum. Just to ease up one or two little things that we nicked, which I was I'd have nicked them with any razor tonight. So that's it. And I think Porsche Vice, L'Oreal Men Expert, Soothing Birch Sap. I thought we were using Driftwood Soap. I use Birch Sap Porsche Bar. is relatively scentless but quite nice. Right gentlemen, that's me shaved till the weekend. Uh, hope you're having a good week and uh, my next shave will be over the weekend at some point. I don't know when. Depends on depends on the sporting itinerary I suppose. Uh, hopefully I'll see you the weekend. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.